Hey guys, good afternoon. As usual, I am just stealing a few moments and I'm here with my two little open eye babies. And I had a question for you guys. I'd love to hear your input. First off, let's introduce the babies. Here on the left, my little boy. This is Niklaus, Thomas Niklaus. He is the Atticus sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. And he's been with me for, um, well, I first started working on getting him almost a year ago. So he was born on October 9th reborn on October 9th. And then here on the right is my newest edition and this is Charlie Ingalls. And she is the Sally Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Now you guys, these two dolls are quite different. Um, first off, they're by two different sculptors and they are probably my two favorite sculptors, I would have to say. Um, they're also by two very different artists. If you haven't been with my, here's my baby spray up there. <laughs> um, if you haven't been with me for a bit, he is my British baby. He's from, um, Wendy Graham of Wendy's Babies and she lives in the UK and then and then my little Charlie she is my little Russian baby and her artist name is Marina Matsko. So my question for you today is do you think how much maybe it's a rating system um, but how much of the magic for those of us that have felt the magic of a doll where there's like this crazy connection that goes beyond just appreciating the beauty and the art and dressing it and the quality of the doll where you really feel like this connection where you feel like you know like you're not really not literally but where you're like loving this doll to death for this doll uh, to death <laughs> where you're loving this doll to life almost, where you just, you, there's personality, there's, you wanna to talk to the baby, you wanna squeeze the baby, whatever that looks like for you. How much of that do you think is the skill of the artwork and the sculpting and you know, like how much you aesthetically are in love with those details and how much of it do you think is um, the, energy that's put in by the artist and then how much of it do you think is something else how much of it do you think is you and then a part B to that is do you think that you could have a connection like a like a meant to be connection with an inanimate object to which we admittedly ascribe personality. And this isn't limited to dolls. I mean, stuffed animals have that for me too. So, so that's my question. And I definitely have like the strongest connection with these two babies. Um, they're having a little tummy time right now. <laughs> Part of it's probably that they're my open eye babies. This guy just has a special place for me um, being like, he's the first baby that had that like, whoa, when I saw the picture of his artist's work. And um, she's another one. When I saw her, I knew she was mine. So we're gonna pause for a second. I'm just gonna move them around. <laughs> Back with the cuties. Okay, so um, 
yeah, I'm just curious. Like, what is it? It's been talked about a bunch of times. I'm sure there's no real answer, but what's your theory or your experience on that je ne sais quoi, that certain something that I don't know what it is that you know when you feel it kind of thing that could separate your total connection to one doll f from your lack of connection with another? What do you think? Also, it's very, very hot here today. So as adorable as my little man here looks in this mother care outfit with the knit um, overalls, I think I'm gonna put him into, since I have them here together, this outfit is one that was featured on my little Charlie when her, her artist was trying to sell her. Um, she also featured her as a boy. But then I had commented on her page how much I loved um, the outfit and she ended up including it in her box opening. But since Niklaus does have his little tiny taddy teddy and this teddy bear on here reminds me of him, I'm going to pop him into this outfit and see how he's looking in it. I think he's gonna look really cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this little guy changed. How's everyone's day going? That's one thing that would be fun about a live is that you could respond. I'm just not convinced that I get regular stretches of uninterrupted time <laughs> that I could actually do a live with any success. And I'm not sure if anybody would come on to it. I guess having a good topic would be nice. Yeah, so the weather has turned hot here. Um, I was just talking with a friend today who's got a little bit of the baby fever. It definitely goes around. There's something really f fun and magical about knowing that you can pick a new baby and you're going to have that box opening. I think that newness is with I mean, to be honest, with any kind of shopping, that bringing something home is almost better than the having of it. Not quite. <laughs> I certainly appreciate the day-to-day -day having of these two and my other babies as well, more than even their, their coming home. Oh, I mentioned on one of my other videos, but I have a new body coming for Ronan. I was hoping it would be here today, but um, I'm excited for that to happen and to adjust his weight and, and to give him like a better posability and a better feel. I got a shorter body, so I think he's going to be a little tinier and a little better proportioned. Um, I think that the shoulder caps are a little shorter. So, I just, I'm so pleased with him since I put him on this new body. It's such a better experience. Like, it's just cool when you get the confidence to make little adjustments and you don't have to, you know, like secretly sit with disappointments or get rid of a doll that could have easily been adjusted. Now the first doll that I took apart was Ellie Sue and that was probably last fall sometime. And her video, that video is actually up here on YouTube. It's, I think it's called like Ellie Sue Lost Her Head or I can't remember. I'll have to, maybe I'll put a link to it in the description down below, but that was my first time taking a baby apart. I'll tell you part of it, I do miss that beginner magic that when you get just the whole creative process and existence of these dolls is just total magic and mysterious almost. And once you see a baby with his head off, it is a little bit different, but I'll tell you, I don't really think I've lost the magic with these two and they've both been taken apart. But that first time of looking into the, eye, the, the glass eyes of this creation. There's nothing like that. All right. He's looking cute. It is bigger on him than on Charlie. He is a pipsqueak, but he looks adorable. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. 
Wait here for a second. <laughs> and his little muscle shirt. Yeah, that's super cute. So these are my two little open-eyed jewels. How I love them both. He's older, but she's bigger. So cute. Oh, you need your little teddy. My sweet boy. I like it. Do you guys like it? He's looking right in the camera. How cute is that? Very sweet. All right, guys. So yeah, if you have a second, please let me know what your thoughts are based on your experience and your opinion and I don't know, your beliefs. And, um, oh, for those of you who watch who are visually impaired, um, the outfit that I mentioned that I put on Niklaus is a short, it's a shorts and tank and sleeveless, um, like jumper it snaps all the way up the front and it's blue and white striped with blue edging all the way around and then there is an applique of a very very soft teddy bear um, that's wearing the same striped shirt and he's got a little truck and he's got clouds embroidered over him and then on the other side the the uh, the left side which would be the right side the baby's right side um, it says hello little friend and it looks like a little fly flying around and cloud and a little snail and that's embroidered it's very sweet and then he's got his little tiny tatty teddy it's a boy teddy plush all right everybody thanks for joining me again today I'm super glad I've had the opportunity to come online with you guys several times in the last few days thank you to everybody who has joined and um, to everybody that's new to my channel that's joined in the past few days thank you for being here happy to meet you and until next time i hope you have a wonderful week and we will talk soon Bye.